Okay, welcome to my garage. It's an absolute disaster right now. Got a lot of stuff going on. But um, I, I am going to use the 4 inch grinder with a nice cutoff wheel to cut that. I got it clamped in the vise with some uh, um, poplar. A little bit hard, but nice, you know, it's softer than oak, so it holds it pretty well. Um, I'm going to cut this right at the tape line. Try and get it as level as possible, but I'm going to end up working on it later to um, bring it down nice and flush. And <clears throat> I'm going to try and crown it. I uh, have a couple ideas of how I'm going to do that, but it's going to end up getting the muzzle break anyway. So I just want it probably 90 degrees flat um, when I'm ready to put the muzzle brake on it. And then you know, I'll see how that works with accuracy, and then I'll go back to it later. I'm trying to get some uh, crowning tools, some proper ones. But um, I'm going to DIY it at home for now. Now, um, before I cut this, I have to say, wear your safety glasses. Uh, metal in the eye is no fun. Don't put your tools down until they slow down completely. Always upside down too. Well, that made pretty uh, pretty short work of that. And follow the tape line pretty closely. And the barrel looks to be fairly well centered in there. I was hoping that it wouldn't be way off to one side or the other. Um, I've seen that a couple times. And uh, it's going to make crowning and everything else a little bit easier to do. So I'm going to bring this back inside. I'm going to unwrap this. And um, I'm heading off to see if I can get some stuff to crown this thing properly. Left a nice, uh, nice smooth cut. It's not horrible. Um, about like you'd get a little nicer than a hacksaw, actually. So I'm happy with that. Um, and I'll let you in on my little ideas to crown the thing after. Uh, I'm off for now. Okay, well this is my idea for crowning the top of that barrel. Um, what I did was I took a dowel, a hardwood dowel, cut it down, drilled a hole directly through the center of it, uh, epoxied it on there, and um, I double taped some uh, sandpaper on the end of it. Then I got a aluminum sleeve both of these, this is aluminum and uh, it's a quarter inch rod. And then I got an aluminum sleeve from a hobby shop and that's fitted inside the barrel. The, uh, it's, it's held in there, um, nice tight force fit with some tape that puts it dead center in there. And um, this fits in there very smoothly and spins. So I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to the shaft itself. I'm gonna chuck it in my drill. I'm gonna spin it up. Uh, I did a little bit by hand and I can see it's touching one side just slightly more than the other. I, I don't know how hard this is gonna, how many pieces of sandpaper I'm gonna go through here, but I'm gonna take a Sharpie and um, I'm gonna touch up the end of the barrel here just to give me a guide as to how much I need to keep going. <laughs> That'll work pretty well. Just a couple of drops on the end there. I don't want to get it all over the sandpaper. Okay. Safety glasses, probably won't need them, but safety first. Well, 
that's working pretty darn well. Touch this up again and uh, let you see what the progress looks like. There it is. It's touching about half of it right now. Um, you can see it's starting to come in during the in the center. But focus. So I'm going to give that a little bit more. It's chewing up the end of the sandpaper pretty well. I'm going to have to change it. See, it ate it up pretty good. This is um, 100 grit sandpaper. All the double sided tape came off with that one, so I'm going to uh, give this a shot without it. See if that works. I'm going to put the point on there so I can punch it right over, and I'm just going to trim that off to make sure I don't have a lump right in the center there. Just taking it down flush with the end of the dowel rod there. I don't want to chew away the middle of the barrel. It's actually got that sleeve in there, so it's got a little bit of give. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, I've been at this for a little while. Um, what I found was I painted the end with the Sharpie. And um, when I started doing the sanding, I could clearly tell about that much was touching. So I, um, I went and I took a small file and I filed away all the high points. And then I, um, I uh, came back with the little tool that I made, little crowning tool. And um, <clears throat> after you know moving the sandpaper along several times, I found that sticky tape wasn't really the the right choice because I had to change it every time I changed the sandpaper. So I just found that just stretching the sandpaper over, putting a little bit of tape on it, worked perfectly. So that's what I've been up to. I went through probably. Um, did that probably about 10 or 15 times. I've been on about a half hour. And now you can see that the muzzle is perfectly flat. See? No more Sharpie. Now if you look right in the center there, it looks a little funky. That's the sleeve that I put in. I'm going to punch that out now. But looks really really nice it's really really flat and smooth 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 i've seen factory barrels that didn't even look close to that so um, if you wanted to attempt this yourself i would say i would probably not use a round dowel i probably would have used a square piece of wood just because it would have been easier to tape the tape over the, i mean tape the sandpaper over the side and um, maybe come up with some kind of a spring clip 
to just tuck the sandpaper in and, and hold it there because um, you get to change it a lot of times. This worked well. The point on the end just stabbed right through the paper and then I just took a razor blade and trimmed off the little punch out that was in the middle so it was nice and flat. Um, that worked perfectly well too. Um, I can't even really see a reason to polish that. I mean it's beautiful. Now I'm not really worried about having a uh, um, an angle on this because this is going to be protected with a muzzle brake. So um, the next step is going to be to tap the end of this. It's a 15 by one millimeter right hand thread for that um, tap I got from CNC Warrior. Uh, excuse me, the um, muzzle brake I got from CNC Warrior. So I'm actually waiting for a die um, die stock. The die stock that I had was a one inch, and the die, the die that I'm using is a one and a half. So that's not uh, available locally. They had to order it in for me. Um, you, if you order a die online, order the die stock at the same time. It's just easier and they're cheap. Uh, it's about 15 bucks. I want to say the die was about 25, but I might do a couple friends with these. So that's worth it to me. And uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy with that. So uh, until next time.